My husband built these cabinets for our bar area in our basement out of old barn siding and metal roofing. It was really easy for him to do and it was free. So if you guys wanna come along and see how he did it, he will show you how. So today we are working on making the cabinets that's gonna go on the other side of this bar here and what we're calling like the little kitchenette or kitchen area. I don't know, wet bar, whatever you wanna call it. So right now we're just kind of laying everything out. This is the farmhouse sink that we bought for this area. It's actually a bathroom sink. If you look here, this is what we bought. It's a hundred bucks from Lowe's. We looked at buying small farmhouse sinks like this one online for kitchens and we could not find any and the ones that we could find were too big and they were like four or $500. This is the only one we found that we could make work. So here we are. And honestly, we did not want to make the cabinets for this area. We just wanted to buy some cheap cabinets, throw them in here and paint them and make it work. But we can't find any cheap cabinets. We've looked on Facebook Marketplace and multiple thrift stores without any success. So here we are building them. We're going to build them out of old barn siding and metal roofing, just like we did the vanity in our bathroom that we just made in the last video. So come along and we'll show you guys how we do it. The dimensions of these cabinets is going to be 34 inches for height and 22 inches for depth. And then the length is going to be whatever size it needs to be to fit in this L-shaped area. Now, standard cabinet sizes are usually 24 inches for depth instead of 22. We opted to go a little bit more shallow on the cabinets because this area is really small. And we thought that pushing it back two inches would give us a little bit more floor space so it didn't feel so tight. And then we would still have adequate enough space in the cabinets to put everything that we need in there. So that's why we decided to go with 22 inches depth instead of 24. And it's gonna be your standard height, 34 inches. Okay, so uh, this is the progress so far. This has been kind of more challenging than I expected. There's just a lot of uh, issues here. I probably should have just built every bit of this over there and not even worried about building it in place just because of how unlevel the floor is. You can see there's a drain. I know just from us building this, that's three quarter inches lower than the rest of the floor and it tapers down. So I'm just having a lot of issues getting everything level. The top is not level and uh, we're gonna have to shim it to uh, put the granite on it and make sure we're just gonna level it the best we can. But, you know, between the um, the barn lumber being not too square, just to maintain the uh, rough timber look, and then the floor, it's been a little bit more of a challenge. It's taken me a little longer than I thought. But I think it's looking good anyway. All right, I just spent the last hour leveling this up. I think I got everything pretty low. Should be prepared enough for some granite, but I had to level out the back. As you can see here, I had to raise these up. Again, it was because we got a floor drain here. I knew that, I knew it was gonna be a challenge. Probably a couple ways to tackle it. Hi, honey. Choo choo train? Yeah. Okay, so what's next now that it's level? I'm just gonna start working on putting all the pieces on, preparing it for doors. Okay. Got a couple pieces cut here, I'm gonna go ahead and slap on. So just like we did for the vanity, kind of put it up here. Got a mark over here where I want it.
like a glove. Okay, I like how the toe kick's gonna be, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it out because when we take the flooring in here, I'll be able to take the floor up underneath and then I'll put in my toe kick piece and then it should seam up pretty good. I'll have to trim this side out along with the rest of the bar, but. But not the actual cabinets But not themselves. the cabinets in here. Plus okay. trim is good because I'll have to make every bit of that trim. I'm not looking forward to that. So that'll save a lot of time. So you'll just put the flooring in up to these and then you'll put the toe kick, which is gonna be this front piece there on top of the flooring. Yeah. Okay. Okay, since we're not going to put the toe kicks in right now, I'm going to go ahead and cut out all the pieces. I'm basically to trim out all of these boxes where the um, doors are going to be. James just went through and put in three drill holes in each one of these boards. So I'm gonna go through and put the screws in. And our plan for around that uh, support pole is to case it in wood. Okay, we're ready to prepare for some doors. Yesterday, right before bed, I got this on here. We got the shelf in. This is just uh, provide some support for the granite that's going to wrap around that. Um, so that's literally all that's going to do. It's pretty stout. Yeah. She stood on it and she's super heavy. So um, <laughs> super heavy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then okay, anyway. we got the shelf in there, which was a pain in the butt to get in there and cut. And I didn't use my jigsaw and I kind of rushed. It looks like crap, but that's okay. I think it's fine. Nobody's ever going to see it. All I'm going to do is shove random take, stuff in here. I had to take this out and put it back in too because I couldn't get the shelf in. And somehow amongst all of that work, I got a little gap here. I don't know if that's the wood. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. I don't know how that happened. That's all right. Because that's cured. That's 60 year old cured wood. It shouldn't have moved. Okay. So here we are. James, you did such a good job. I love it. Looks amazing, babe. Thanks, so. So obviously we still need to put the hinges on these. We ordered them off Amazon. So when those come in from Amazon, we will put the doors on hinges. But right now they're just shimmed up.
What's most impressive about all of this to me is how square it is. If you've ever seen old barn siding on a barn that's been there for 75 plus years, it's not at all straight, it's warped. And he just did a great job of working with the lumber to make all of this completely square. So we'll put hinges on everything, we'll put handles on, and then we will put the granite on top and it's done. James just put this light down here. So now you can see the cabinets much better. It looks so good. Here's the back side of those doors so you can see up close how James fastened them. He just used little tiny pieces of cedar scraps and screwed the metal to the back of the frame of the door that he made. Here are the hinges and handles that we picked out off of Amazon. They were really inexpensive, so I'll put the links in the description below for both of these products, and we're gonna get them installed now. I really wish I would have recorded the audio with this and not done it in a time lapse because it was the cutest thing ever. James wanted to show the boys how to put the hinges on the door, so he taught them how, and the boys were fully invested, and their conversation was just the cutest thing. But anyway, the hinges are in, so we'll put the handles on next. Here are the hinges installed up close. I love these. They look like hinges that you would see on like a barn door. That's it, bud. Perfect. And here it is, the finished product. I'm obsessed. It looks so good. Once again, James has made a project that honestly turned out better than I thought it would. I feel like the hinges and the handles add such a nice barn look to it. It looks so good. I mean, look at how cute this is. They open so easily. Now, obviously it's a mess in there. I got to clean all that out, but they open so easily, close easily. It's just so cute. He did such a good job. I love this. Oh, look, you can tell the kids have been down here. There's toys under there. But up next is going to be the countertops for the cabinets and then also the countertop for the bar top. And honestly, I don't know what we're going to do for this. We originally wanted granite, but for this small area of granite, we've contacted three different granite companies. It's going to be over $2,500 for granite in this. Granite prices have skyrocketed. So I don't know what we're going to do. We might do a concrete countertop for this that James and I would put in. We've never done concrete countertops before, but I'm sure he could figure it out. And then do like a live edge wood bar top, which I think would look really nice to go around the edge. But honestly, I don't know. Regardless, the cabinets look amazing. We're done with those. If you guys have suggestions or comments for what we should do for the countertops, let me know. Fortunately, because this is made out of cured oak wood, it could hold weight no problem. So... I don't know, I think we might go with the live edge and the concrete, but regardless, let me know if you have any suggestions, but here it is. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.